Evening fellow coin collectors, Coinsnatcher here and we have another update on the 50p collection. Get yourself a gin and tonic, get yourself a coffee, whatever your poison is, there's a few coins to go today. So make yourself comfy, sit down and let's see what's arrived in the post. So the first coin we have to look at today, you'll not be surprised to see this. This is a, another one of my favourites, the old Isaac Newton. This is the 2018 Isaac Newton, so on a bit of a mission with these at the minute to buy up as many of these as possible at the right price. Uh, this one was just about the right price, so it joins the collection. So uh, 20,000 coins, compare that to the 2009 Olympics athletics coin, which has a uh, sword in value recently. So the 2009 Olympics coin was released in 2011 or 12 for the Olympic Games. So that one you can get in your circulation change the same way you can get the Isaac Newton 2017 in your circulating change. What makes both coins unique though is that they're dual dated. So this one's 2018 in the same way the athletics coin designed by Florence Jackson in the Blue Peter competition was also a non-circulating coin. So uh, the Athletics coin is worth quite a bit of money and it's my hope that these Isaac Newton coins in future years will rocket in value. It's a much, much better design than the 2009 Athletics coin. No offence meant uh, Florence, but this Isaac Newton coin, my favourite coin out of all the 50 piece. So very happy for this one to join the collection. We'll pop that in with the pile of other coins. So the second coin we have to have a look at tonight is this little beauty that arrived and this is one of the TT coins and you'll see that this one has an AA die mark just down here in the corner. It's in a nice little blue case and it's a 2009 coin. So very nice condition, very happy for this one to join the collection as well and we'll pop that one in the tray. So these little capsules, they just open up like this and you can pop the coin out, which <laughs> sin against sin, I'm gonna do. And we pop that over in the tray with all the other TT coins. So I have my little label there so I know where I'm at with everything. So we take the label out and we pop the coin in, fantastic. Another coin added to the collection, very happy with that. That gives us 2009, 2010 and 2011. Still got to get the 2010 no die, the 2011 no die and a few other bits and pieces there as well to pick up still. So that's brilliant, really happy with that. And the next coin we have to have a look at is my little run that I'm doing on the 1997 TT 50p. So in case you missed the last video, this coin has the AA die mark, but during 1997, when the coins went from the large size to the small size, they minted massive amounts of coins for the Isle of Man and for the UK as well. Hence a lot of the coins, the 1997 coins you get in the UK will, uh, you know, there's millions of them minted so they're all over the place but the UK ones don't have the little die marks so the reason for collecting this particular coin is they all have the little AA die mark but there's 31 different variations on the AA die mark it's my intention as far as my eyesight will allow to get as many of these as possible so I have a tray bit of a used tray that uh, the coins don't sit in it too well so I thought I might try and take a bit of the velvet out to see if they sit in it better uh, they have a habit of falling out but at the minute we have one two three coins in the tray and this one makes number four so I'm not going to do a video just yet on the die marks I think I'll wait until I fill up a line and then when I have eight coins that will be sufficient to do a decent video so that's the 1997 TT coin added to the collection. Uh, what have we got next? Well, I said I wasn't going to do this, but I couldn't help myself. So we have a Viking longship, the large size of 50p. And this one is a 1985 coin. It's in very nice condition, very happy with it. And if we pop this one over, have a little look at the die mark on it. It's very faint on this. 
but it is an AB die mark. So happy to get this one. We'll pop this one into the collection. I have ordered a couple of the uh, red trays, so just a case of waiting for those red trays to arrive with the larger size spaces in them, and we can uh, we can march on with the Vikings date run of 50 piece. Really nice coin that. I do like these older coins. They've got a nice bit of weight to them. I think they're 13, 13 grams or 13 and a half grams, something like that. And of course they're 30 millimeters wide. So a decent chunk of metal in your pocket. So that's the Vikings coin. We'll pop him into the side. And what have we got to have a look at next? Well, Again, we go back to the old school 50p's, the large ones. And the first one we have to have a look at is a 1981 TT 50p. Now there's four variations of this coin. The first two that were released had the error on them where it said, just here it says Ra Racing, instead of just saying Racing. So they released the coin and you could either get an AA die mark or an AB die mark. Now this one is an AB die mark. You'll see that quite clearly there. The coin's in really nice condition. And it's not the error coin. So this was from the second die run. So there's the AA one of uh, the racing to get. There's the AA die mark for Ra Racing. So in total, there's four of these to collect. So watch me march on with this. Hopefully we'll be able to get all four. Really nice coin, lovely weight to it, nice design. I do like these TT coins. I'm very, very happy with them. So we'll pop that one over to the side. And the second coin we have to have a look at is the 1982 Isle of Man TT 50p coin. So if we have a little look at this one in a bit more detail, again, it's in really nice condition. And if I zoom in a bit, get the focus on it, this has an AA die mark on it. So there are again different variations on these coins, but that's another 1982 coin. So we've got 1981, we've got 1982, and once the large red tray comes for the TT coins, we'll be able to pop those in a tray and start making a really nice display out of it. So the final coin we have to have a look at tonight is a, can you guess? Just by coincidence, this is the 1983 Isle of Man TT coin. <laughs> uh, let's have a look and see what this one's like. So when I'm buying the coins, I do try to go for nice condition ones. And I think you'll agree this is a fantastic looking coin. The condition is really, really nice on it. Now, in terms of die mark, I'm just having a look at this and I'm not exactly sure where the die mark is hidden on this one. Is that it? Just above the wheel. Let's zoom in a bit and see. And that looks like it there now. It's very difficult to see, but just about here, there is what looks to be a little A and then a C. So I'll have to double check this one. Don't take my word on it. This will need just a little bit more research. Oh, there it is there. I'm a fool. I'm an idiot. Excuse me. So where's my finger gone? So apologies for that. The, <laughs> the die mark there is quite clear and this is the AA die mark. So a really, really nice coin again. And it's in fantastic condition. I'm looking at this and I'm thinking that looks really, really nice. You got the little PM for Pop Joy Mint there, just at the trunk line of the Queen's neck. Really nice coin, chuffed to bits with that. So we've got 1981, 1982, and 1983. We're cracking on nicely with these TT coins, both the large ones and the small ones. So once the tray comes, as I say, they'll go in the collection and away we go. Uh, there's lots more coins to come, so stay tuned. But here's something a little bit different. Whilst I've been out traveling on my uh, work today, I managed to come across this. So I was down in Cheddar today and I came across the only company that actually makes real cheddar cheese in Cheddar. The only cheddar made in cheddar. So I do like my cheddar cheese being Irish. We have some fantastic cheddar cheeses back home. 
However, couldn't resist the opportunity to pop into the shop and get myself a bit of cheese. The only thing I would say is that when I went in, the first bit of cheese I looked at, which to me was a wedge, nothing fancy, 25 quid. I nearly fell over. Now, I wouldn't fall over if it was £25 for a coin, but £25 for a wedge of cheese is uh, mighty expensive in my books. So I downsized, and this little one that comes in a heart-shaped little box with a bit of straw in it and some cheddar pickle, this was £10. So I got some cheddar pickle and also picked up some really nice homemade, handmade fudge made in the traditional way in the copper pan over an open fire. So while you guys are watching the video, I'm going to be shoveling as much cheese and cheddar pickle down my throat as possible and dreaming of the coins that are winging their way to the coin snatcher at the minute. So that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, make sure you do that. Leave a comment and hit the like button. It's been a pleasure as always. Peace and love. Coin snatcher out.